Yash Khan Shani welcome you all to this video series of IC engine. In this video, we would be learning about the factors which affect the flame, flame propagation. There are several factors which affect the flame propagation. One of them is air fuel ratio, compression ratio, load on engine, turbulence, engine speed, engine size, intake temperature and pressure, residual gases. Now let us discuss each of the factors one by one. The first factor is air fuel ratio. The mixture strength influences rate of combustion and amount of heat generated. Flame speed is reduced for lean as well as rich mixture. Let, now what is lean mixture? The mixture in which air is more and fuel is less. Whereas rich mixture where fuel is more and air is less is the rich mixture. So lean mixture releases less heat resulting in lower te flame temperature and lower flame speed. Whereas for very rich mixture it results in incomplete combustion and also results in production of less heat and flame speed remains low. Now very rich mixture the fuel is not completely burned. We have ample amount of fuel and thus combustion is less. Now the second factor which we are going to discuss is compression ratio. What is compression ratio? That how our compressor is reducing the volume okay, of air sucked and the volume it is compressing final volume upon initial. Okay, the very higher compression ratio increases the pressure temperature of the mixture and higher compression ratio decreases concentration of residual gases. Residual gases are the left out gases which are left or the exhaust gases which remain in the piston cylinder. Okay, now all these factors reduce the ignition lag. So, the compression ratio on higher compression ratio would reduce the ignition lag and help us to speed up the second phase of combustion that is the flame propagation. I have told you that about 35 degrees of crank rotation is it is lagging behind for starting of flame propagation process. Now the third factor which comes into picture is load on engine. Now what is load on engine? With increase in load the cyclic pressure increases and flame speed also increases. That means how much how many people are sitting on the vehicle or how much if it is working on a slope with high slope the load on engine will definitely increase. The lower load and higher throttle the initial and final pressure of mixture our comp after compression decreases and mixture is diluted by more residual gases. That means more residual gases will remain in the cylinder and they are left out and thus the load is increased. The re this reduces the flame propagation and prolongs ignition lag. That means this process the flame propagation is would also be more than 30-35 degrees. It would be lagging and ignition lag would increase and increase. Now the fourth one is turbulence. Now what is turbulence? That means we are going to create a air flow. Okay, turbulence play a very important role in combustion of fuel as well as the flame propagation is directly proportional to turbulence of mixture. Insufficient turbulence provide low flame velocity and incomplete combustion reduces the output. Okay, now the fifth parameter we are going to see is the engine speed. Now what is engine speed? The turbulence I have told you that moderate turbulence is always desirable as it accelerates the chemical reaction and reduce the ignition lag and increase flame propagation as flame would propagate when air flow would be there in the 
piston cylinder okay now engine speed the turbulence of the mixture increases with increase in engine speed as the engine is increase speed would increase the turbulence is also going to increase for this reason the flame propagation also increases linearly with engine speed the engine speed is doubled flame to transfers the combustion chamber is halved engine speed would be doubled if the combustion chamber is halved okay now the sixth parameter is engine size now let us see that how engine size is going to affect the flame propagation engines of similar design generally run at run at same piston speed this is achieved using small engines having larger rpm and larger engines having smaller rpm okay so when we need larger rpm we need to have small engines and we have we need smaller rpm we have to have larger engines okay now let us see the another parameter that is intake temperature and pressure how intake temperature and pressure is going to affect okay seventh is intake temperature and pressure if intake temperature and pressure increases the flame speed also increases which result in creation of homogeneous mixture of fuel and air okay now the less per last parameter left is residual gases okay as the residual gases increases in the combustion chamber the flame speed decreases okay increase in residual gases would reduce the flame speed i hope you find this video helpful do like and share my video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet press the subscribe button and share the video thank you